Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the April, April 8th meeting of the Revere City Council. Please rise and salute the flag. Roll call of the members, Councillor Rigo. Here. Here, Councillor Creggio. Here. Here, Councillor Gino. Here. Here, Councillor Guanasso. Here. Here, Councillor Hass is absent. Councillor Patch. Here. Here, Councillor Powers. Here. Here. Here, Councillor Penta. Here. Here, Councillor Reardon is absent. Councillor Zambudo is absent. And Council President Novoselsky. Here. Here, a quorum is present. Approval of the journals of the meetings held on March 11th. In March 27th, 2013. All in favor, all opposed, vote and so on. Calendar item number one, the mayor will address the city council relative to the surveillance systems for the Rivera Public Schools. Mr. Mayor, you're on number one. Mr. President, members of the city council, I just wanted to update you. I know that Councillor Reardon had previously submitted a motion regarding cameras uh, located at our schools around the city and I just wanted everybody to know that it is still a work in progress. We had a meeting with National Grid. I, uh, from what I'm told early on in the conversations between the uh, IT people over at the school department uh, along with Chief Caffarelli, there was some question as to legal liability and payments for use of the poles that are owned by Verizon, but um, National Grid is the provider for, of the uh, electricity. And so as a result, there was uh, some question as to um, you know, how that would all go forward, the, the cameras that were gonna be used to, to uh, uh, place surveillance on, on, on our schools around the city. We're still waiting for an agreement with National Grid um, so uh, I thought that by now, uh, based on our meeting of over a month ago, uh, that we would have more of a concrete answer, but I guess it's still going through the legal department and national grid. And as soon as I have something more concrete, I will appear before the council. I, did, you know, I think the reason that I kept this uh, meeting on the calendar for tonight is really out of uh, you know, courtesy and respect to Council Reardon, who I know has been working on this and has been communicating with my office regularly on the issue. So I just wanted to update the council that it is not a forgotten issue, that we are looking to get these cameras installed and working and functioning properly because, of, you know, for obvious reasons, we want to make sure that we have every, uh, every possible uh, um, uh, way to keep our student population safe and certainly by using cameras is one of the best ways that uh, I think we can, you know, we can accomplish that. So um, as soon as I have something uh, more concrete in terms of when the cameras will be installed and how they will be installed and what the cost will be uh, to the city, I will, uh, I will hopefully uh, appear uh, once again before you to give you a, a more substantive update. Cool. So with that, I, if you have any questions, <clears throat> I'd be our... Uh, Councilor Reardon, to... you have anything on this? No, no. I'm sorry. I apologize for being late. I, I, uh, I understand that this is a process, uh, Mr. Mayor, and I, I appreciate the fact that you, you're uh, working with a lot of sometimes uh, intransigent uh, entities to get this tied together. But I think it's really, really important that we do it, and I recognize the fact that you believe that also. So uh, keep us posted. And uh, so when, when it gets done, it gets done, and I think we'll all feel a lot safer and a lot more uh, um, uh, at ease about the uh, safety of our school children when, when it does get done. Thank you. Absolutely, Council. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Ms. President. Madam Clerk, number two. Calendar item number two, reconsideration filed by Councilor Zambudo on the bond order for remodeling the old McKinley School. Roll call. On the motion to reconsider, Councilor Rigo? Yes. Yes, Councilor Creggio? No. No, Councilor Gino? No. No, Councilor Guanasso? No. No, Councilor Haas is absent. Councilor Patch? Uh, no. No, Councilor Penta? No. No, Councillor Powers? Yes. Yes, Councillor Reardon? No. No, Councillor Zambudo? 
Yes. Yes, and Council President Novoselsky. Yes. Yes, the reconsideration fails. Calendar item number three, report of the appointment subcommittee. Guanasso. Mr. Chairman, uh, Mr. President, uh, earlier this afternoon the appointment subcommittee met and we had the following people before us. For re I will read them all and uh, I beg the indulgence. If anybody has any exceptions uh, to take one out of order, we can do that. But after I read all the names and the positions applied for, we'll take a, one vote if that's okay with the council. First is the reappointment of the Parks and Recreation Commission terms ex concurrent with the mayor, Ms. D. Sordillo, Mr. Paul Argenzio, Mr. Joseph Seidlinger, and Mr. Jason Fry. This committee is going to hold that to the next regular meeting. Next is for reappointment to the Revere Cultural Council for a three-year term expiring on March 1st, 2016. Ms. Assunta Esposito, Ms. Diane LeClaire, Ms. Babe Wunderlich, and Mr. Thomas Haney. That again will be held to the next uh, appointment subcommittee. For a reappointment as a licensed drain layer, Mercurio Brothers Landscaping, Inc. For a reappointment as a licensed drain layer, Arm Construction. For a reappointment as a licensed drain layer, CRL, Inc. For a reappointment as a licensed drain layer, Procopia Enterprises, that also will be held. For a reappointment as a licensed drain layer, Caruso Corporation, that also will be held. For a Appointment as a licensed drain layer, Richard A. Pentas DBA, Emergency Sewer and Drain and Repair. They will also meet at our next uh, subcommittee meeting. For appointment as a licensed drain layer, J.A. Con Contracting Services. For reappointment as a licensed drain layer, Menino Construction Company. That will be held until our next uh, subcommittee meeting. For reappointment as a licensed drain layer, J.J. O'Brien and Sons. For reappointment as a licensed drain layer, Leone Engineering. And for reappointment as a licensed drain layer, Joseph A. Confesta Construction Company, Inc. I ask the uh, council vote favorably for all these, and thank you for your indulgence. Based on the recommendation of the committee, for those that have not been tabled, we'll do it as a bulk vote. Madam Clerk, roll call. Roll call of the members on the appointments as reported by Councillor Guanasso. Councillor Rigo. Yes. Yes, Councillor Correggio? Yes. Yes, Councillor Gino. Yes. Yes, Councillor Guanasso? Yes. Yes, Councillor Hass is absent. Councillor Patch? Yes. Yes, Councillor Penta? Yes. Yes, Councillor Powers? Yes. Yes, Councillor Reardon? Yes. Yes, Councillor Zambudo? Yes. Yes, and Council President Novoselsky? Yes. Yes, the appointments have been confirmed. Calendar item number four, communication from the mayor relative to Riviera Shines. Mr. Mayor, I believe we have, a, you want to read the uh, resolution first or less? Mr. President, um, members of the council, I originally I had thought possibly uh, read the resolution, but you, you all have it in front of you, <clears> so <throat> I don't mind if you waive the reading. And uh, I know there's a couple of us here that um, do want to speak on it. As you all may know, um, April 27th will be our third annual Revere Shines where the community all joins together throughout neighborhoods across the city to help make the city a, a cleaner place and, and you know, really um, set the tone for what will hopefully be the rest of the summer and uh, spring, summer and fall months where you know, we try to entice people to pitch in, give us a hand in keeping the city clean. Uh, that is clearly a priority for my administration. I know for most of you it's a priority for you because we obviously want to live in a clean city with clean streets and clean neighborhoods. So um, I'm very, very happy to report that we have already had, um, I think, about 280 people sign up just through our office so far with about two or three weeks to go. So. Uh, we're getting a lot of corporate help. Companies are coming out to uh, to lend a hand. Um, just if I could, a, you know, a little mini commercial here. It is going to be Saturday, April 27th, from 9 to 12. Um, I would encourage the council to uh, rally your committees together. Come out, uh, pick an area. Uh, you know, we can help you pick an area. I know our Director of Inspectional Services, who will be up here in a couple of seconds to talk about it, has plenty of areas that need attention. Um, it really is a good way to spur, uh, you know, some real strong community spirit around an issue that's very important to all of us. So 
Uh, it will be from 9 to 12. We'll be meeting at 9 a.m. at the American Legion, right next door to City Hall. And uh, after that, at noontime, uh, we'll be coming back, or those of us that wish to come back will come back. Uh, it's going to be a full-blown uh, celebration, really. We're going to have music and an outdoor barbecue and pizzas and sandwiches and things like that, all donated by uh, local businesses. So um, it really is a true community event. Um, and uh, it's my hope uh, that, uh, that the council will endorse it and support it. And, um, you know, maybe in your uh, dealings throughout the city, encourage people to participate because I really think it will go a long way. It's not just that one day of picking up papers and trash and all that stuff. It's what we're trying to create. We're trying to create a mindset amongst all people from across the city. You know, let's do our part to keep the city clean. And so uh, whatever I can do to, uh, or whatever you can do, I should say, to, to help us out in this effort would be greatly appreciated. Um, uh, I know by me as well as the many people that we have working on the Revere Shines Committee who you probably, if it's okay with you, Mr. President, if they could say a few words, uh, I'd uh, appreciate the latitude and letting them just talk about what's going on on that day as well. So with that, unless there's any questions, uh, I appreciate whatever support you can give to the event. Thank you. Name and address for the record, sir. Uh, Nick Cadenazzo, uh, Director of Municipal Inspections, 92 Stephen Street, Revere, Mass. I'm here to support the uh, mayor's initiative. Uh, back a couple of years back when uh, the mayor was running for office, he was really passionate about cleaning up the city because we saw a lot of spots that were really in bad shape. And uh, he kept his promise, and he's been doing this. We're, this is our third year, and um, it's getting bigger and bigger, and more people are interested in doing it. Uh, we've also had a tough winter this year, so there's a lot of areas like parks and uh, various areas that we have identified that need cleanup. And like we said at our meeting, if we didn't do it, have this cleanup, those, most of those places would stay that way throughout the whole summer. By the time we finally got around to... Uh, to get them to clean them up, and I would get calls from you counselors saying, hey, this area is bad. But this is a, you know, for people who are out there watching this, this is a good chance for them to uh, come out and help us and start, don't complain about the city being dirty if you don't want to help. So, I mean, it's, it takes a, you know, a city and an effort from everybody. And like I said, the mayor has been really passionate about this, and he kept his word on it, and uh, he keeps on us all the time about, you know, getting, you know, getting a committee together and uh, having a good plan in place, which I think we really do. We've had a lot of sponsors this year. Um, we're going to be giving out T-shirts, I believe. Is that correct, Mr. Mayor, this year? Yes. So um, come down, and, and it's actually a good time. It's three hours, and it's, it's a really fun three hours. We really have a good time. We're going to have a barbecue afterwards, and uh, we have coffee in the morning. And um, we challenge all you counselors to get your people that are working for you. Uh, out there and clean up your areas. And it's a good, you know, it's an election year, too. Just want to let you know that. <laughs> but uh, thank you very, uh, very much for letting me speak. And, uh, you know, I'm also passionate about my job. And anytime you guys call me. So thank you again. Thank you, Nick. Anybody else want to speak on Revere Shines? Councilors, anybody? Council Powers? Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I... I I heard the mayor say uh, that he was passionate. Uh, uh, he was not only passionate, he was out there uh, three years ago working uh, side by side with myself and his other members of his uh, committee. And uh, we, we did a, a great job <clears throat> down at the high school. And, uh, and uh, he, he was much more than passionate. He was working very hard at it. And uh, I want to uh, compliment him this evening for continuing that effort uh, uh, this year here. Thank you, Mr. President. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. President. I basically want to echo what Council Powers just said. I was involved in the two years that the mayor had it, and he kept his word. You know, if we get elected, he's going to keep this going, and it has gotten bigger. And you can just tell by, at least I know what came out of my ward, that the barrels and trash bags, the one area down by also your ward, the uh, Shaw site, I think that must have took 80 or 90 uh, bags and stuff out of there. They actually had a backhoe there, but um, two areas that were probably never touched over years. Public stairs areas, uh, curbs. It was amazing the debris 
from branches, small branches, and you know, and, and also I like what the mayor did with this. It's expanding through the MBTA. I don't know if the mayor mentioned this about the MBTA with TVs, um, computers down at Wonderland Station that same day, the 27th. They're accepting those free of charge. So you don't have to, you know, call the city up to pay for that. That's just, that's phenomenal. There's people that are leaving them out in other people's yards and <clears> sidewalks <throat> and everything else. There's a place to bring them to, the 27th, which this is expanding. I commend the mayor for that. And um, like you said, it's an all-day affair now. Next year, it might be a two-day affair, a weekend and stuff like that. But uh, to me, it's incredible with that one day. And the other thing that the mayor said, and it's so true, is that people, even some people that moved here, in my ward, they got involved in it, how they connected with other people, just by being with that day, going around, picking up the little parks and stuff like that. And it was very well organized, coordinated. Everybody had their own pieces to do. It was, it was actually incredible, and I'm looking forward to this year. Great job, Mayor. Councilor Correggio. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I have to commend the mayor. Uh, you know, he sticks to his guns. Uh, he cares about the community. And it's really tremendous. Uh, this is about the third year uh, this is happening. And uh, I always believe in working as a team. Councilors working together with residents in the area. And uh, uh, the people in Revere are very ca uh, passionate. Uh, uh, you give them a, an issue, you give them something, uh, and they'll work together to try to better it and better the community. And uh, this is excellent, and uh, I will support it 100%. Thank you. Council Zimbudo. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, you know, when this uh, first came up a few years ago, everybody uh, wrote it off as a uh, campaign tactic, and, you know, it was just a, uh, you know, just a way of getting votes. And uh, the mayor has proven everybody wrong. And we all take pride in our city. And uh, this is just a day that it shows. And uh, Council Penta said a lot of new people got involved. And uh, this is a city on the move. We've got a lot of great things happening in this city, and this is just one little way to highlight it so any of us that can get out there on that day and uh, show our pride in Revere, uh, not just by keeping it clean, but we really care about this city. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Uh, Councilor Guanasso. Thank you, Mr. President. This will be the third year that myself and my committee will be joining forces to get together to clean uh, the area. We had the privilege of cleaning the uh, Lincoln School, Parvia School, Revere High School uh, in Ambrose Park. Uh, and we did uh, an unbelievable amount of uh, debris was collected in back of the Lincoln School like I couldn't believe. But then when we got to the high school, we found an awful lot there too. So there are avenues of, uh, of need and certainly this is a, a good gathering point for neighbors and friends and people to get together to, to do a good job for our community and, and give a little self-pride in, in where they live. It certainly serves a couple of purposes. It's a nice time to meet and gather with your friends and your neighbors, but the more important thing is you, you're cleaning up our community and you're sending a message out to everybody who does harm to our community by littering and throwing debris about that uh, we we oppose that we object to your type of action and hopefully enough people will see the effort being put forth that day that they'll no longer throw debris and litter as they do on a day-to-day basis so this is a great thing for our community and, and i'm very glad and happy to hear that that we're now paying for these the to have this little function afterwards because the first year I paid for it. And I said, you know, this is a good idea the mayor has that we all meet and we congregate at the American Legion building and all the community is paying for it. So I think it's a great and a good job by the mayor uh, putting this together and certainly we're working with Miles on it and he's certainly dedicated to the, doing the right thing for our city. So uh, look forward to being there on the 27th and hopefully Anybody in Ward 3 who's watching who haven't contacted me yet, uh, come aboard. We'll meet you up there. I'd be glad to be with you and, and help you. And we get on our, our dungarees and our jackets and uh, put our gloves on and we dig in and help and do the best thing we can for our city. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Councillor. Uh, Madam Vice President. Thank you. Um, well, this will be the second year that myself and my committee has worked on this, and it's a great, great event. And I know one of the first questions that came up in my own family was, 
my grandmother said, well, you know, I'm, I'm older. I can't be out there with the shovel and doing this and doing that. But there are activities for everyone. You know, if, if all you can do is get out in your own area and grab a broom and sweep your own sidewalk, clear your own drain, you know, focus on those areas close to you, um, I definitely want to encourage that. So if you can stay local, if, you know, you have somewhere to be that afternoon, just shouldn't stop you from getting involved in the event, cleaning up your own property that day. You know, it's incentive for our whole community to work together to beautify it. And uh, if you need any more kind of motivation to go, my dad will be behind the grill. And uh, anyone who knows Christian, he knows cooking. It's amazing. <laughs> so uh, definitely come out and see us that day. We'll be at the Legion. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Vice President. Um, in conclusion, I'd like to uh, say that, you know, I know my, my folks down in Ward 2 are uh, very excited about this, and they have been for four years. You know, we were out there, you know, when... The mayor was still in the council, uh, cleaning up you know, the Shirley Ave area and Costa Park and Garfield, and, and they're very excited about this, and they continue. And I think this year uh, we already have about 40 people signed up just to come down in the, in the Ward 2 and Shirley Ave area, which you know, I want to thank everybody for, for doing that and coming down. But in addition to everything that we're, the public space that we're all cleaning up in most cases, I do ask everybody, not just in my ward, that the folks in their homes, they get out and they clean in front of their, on their sidewalks in front of their homes. You know, that's a gray area of who's really responsible for it, but it's your home. You should be proud of where you live, and you should be cleaning it up on a regular basis, not just on April 27th, you know, that we designate, but it should be on a regular basis. You, your streets are swept, in most cases, twice a month. You know, one side and then the other side. Uh, but clean up on your, on your sidewalks. It's, it's very, very important. It makes everybody feel better when they see you out there doing this. And um, as far as the MBTA is concerned, uh, they've always been cooperative. And I know in the last couple of years, they've actually shut down the blue line and cleaned along the rear tr the tracks on the berms along the, on the track. So... I have asked that, and I don't know if you want to reinforce it, Mr. Mayor, to them if you have any connections there, uh, to send the crew on the tracks to clean up because the wind debris really drops, you know, down in Beachmont, down in my area, and at Wonderland and Revere Beach Station. So, you know, I think it's very exciting that they're being helpful. In, in addition, repeating about this, uh, the TVs and all the uh, appliances that you normally can't get rid of and here it is free, so that you're getting rid of it. I just opened the door for you, didn't I? <laughs> so, but, you know, that's all I have, you know, just to finish up, Mr. Mayor, and uh, we'll thank you. But, yes, um, and I heard, I heard several councillors say things that I forgot to mention. So, first off, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the plugs here and, uh, and for the uh, rally of support and the kind words. Um, you know, uh, believe me, um, you know, if everybody pulls together, we can really, we can really get out there in, uh, in full force. Um, Councilor Penter had asked me, uh, is there a rain date? And yes, there is a rain date. The rain date would be the Sunday after, which would be the 28th, same time. So, uh, 9 to 12. So if it's pouring out, um, you know, uh, we will, we will have that fallback date on Sunday. The other thing that was brought up was the recycling, which is really a big deal. It's going to be down at Wonderland train station, and you can bring anything except, I think, uh, uh, glass, well, I think construction materials? Glass and porcelain. Glass and porcelain. Anything else, computers, whatever, you, you can bring them down to Wonderland train station, and they're going to be accepting all those materials for free, uh, just by like, taking them. Ocean Ave site. Yes. Okay. Yes. And the North Lot. The Ocean Ave site. Yes. So, um, and uh, and uh, it was also it was also um, uh, and we, we plan on putting out uh, uh, a reverse 911 on this, and I think Council Janino mentioned it, and and uh, you mentioned it, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. President, that if you can't if you can't make it that day, you know, for whatever reason, from nine to twelve, you you're busy in the morning, whatever, absolutely. Clean up in front of your own homes. That you know that that's a big help right there. Or clean up in your general vicinity. Um, that's uh, you know that's equally as effective. So you know our goal is to clean as many areas as we possibly can, and and so uh, that's uh, 
you know, really, really strong advice to people who can't make it, you know, just do, you know, 15, 20 minutes out in front of your own home, and that will go a long way, you know. Not to say that it's not going to get dirty again at some point, but, you know, I think if we all go out and do what we have to do, we'll make a big dent in, in, uh, in doing our spring cleaning. So thank you all for the kind words. Appreciate it. We'll have a vote on the resolution. Roll call. That the City Council hereby approves the Rivera Shines resolution for April 27, 2013. Councillor Arrigo. Yes. Yes. Councillor Correggio. Yes. Yes. Councillor Janino. Yes. Yes. Councillor Guanasso. Yes. Yes. Councillor Hass is absent. Councillor Patch. Yes. Yes. Councillor Penta. Yes. Yes. Councillor Powers. Yes. Yes. Councillor Reardon. Yes. Yes. Councillor Zambudo. Yes. Yes, and Council President Novoselsky. Yes. Yes, the resolution has been ordered. Calendar item number five, communica communication from the mayor relative to an agreement between the city of Rivera and Sagestone LLC for a solar power project at NECO. Mr. Mayor. Um, thank you very much, Mr. President. Uh, this is a project that is being undertaken by uh, NECO in conjunction with Sage Stone, that's a solar energy company. Uh, they plan on using the roof of NECO to put up many um, uh, solar panels that will generate electricity that will come into the grid that services the city of Revere. Um, in exchange for allowing us to let them use our grid, the city will benefit financially in terms of energy credits. Energy credits, you know, they really, they're dollar credits, but they, you know, they go toward our energy bill. Um, the agreement that we're looking to enter into, and I, um, I don't know if you have the agreement in front of you, um, is a, uh, it's a 25-year agreement uh, where um, in year 2014, the city of Revere would gain a 12% share of energy credits or one hundred and forty seven thousand dollars one hundred one hundred and forty seven one hundred ninety seven uh, one hundred and forty seven thousand one hundred ninety seven dollars twenty fifteen one hundred and fifty one thousand six hundred thirteen dollars and all the way down over the life of the agreement the city stands to benefit close to eight and a half million dollars in energy credits and really it's for doing nothing other than just allowing them to tap into the grid so um, this, uh, when I, you know, when I was sitting down with Neko and Sage Stone, seemed like a no-brainer to me. It's still, uh, quite honestly, kind of confusing to me how we're going to be benefiting to the extent that we are. But it's a real, it's a real significant benefit that um, you know will go a long way to it. Our, uh, uh, if you have a schedule in front of you, you know, in year. Uh, you know, 2038. I know that's a long way off, but you know, the city is, the city is. Uh, well, some of you may be here in 2038. How do you know? You know, so, um, but you know, you're looking at close to half a million dollars in energy credit. So it is, it is a, an escalating contract um, that will, uh, I believe, benefit the city very positively. So, that's all I have. Any comments from the councilors on this? Everybody feel comfortable to ratify tonight? Uh, just one question, Mr. Mayor. Um, are there permit fees involved with this? Or are we waiving them? I'm sure there will be permit fees for when they go to, to, to do the actual construction. construction. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay, with that, uh, I guess we'll go and vote. Roll call. That the City Council move to approve the agreement between the City of Rivera and Sage Stone LLC to develop and operate a solar photo voltaic generation facility at 135 American Legion Highway. Councillor Rigo. Yes. Yes, Councillor Correggio. Yes. Yes, Councillor Gino. Yes. Yes, Councillor Guanasso. Yes. Yes, Councillor Hass is absent. Councillor Patch. Yes. Yes, Councillor Penta. Yes. Yes, Councillor Powers. Yes. Yes, Councillor Reardon. Yes. Yes, Councillor Zambudo. Yes. Yes, and Council President Novoselsky. Yes. Yes, the agreement has been ratified. Calendar item number six, communication from Edward Stuckels relative to 25 Ellerton Street. Unless there's any objections, sir, I, I am placing this on file. 
Uh, we have already heard from you. There is nothing more we can do. If you want, no, sir, no, sir, no statements at all tonight. You've had your, you've had your day in court, and if you want, no comments, sir, no comments. You, you know, I'm, I'm not recognizing you. We will place that on file. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Calendar item number Place seven. Some file in favor, all opposed, vote and so ordered. Calendar item number seven, communication from the city clerk relative to the warrant calling the special state primary to be held on April 30th, 2013. Move to place on file. Calendar item number eight, communication from the election commissioner relative to the approval of exemption to hire workers for the 2013 election season. We need a vote on this. Uh, roll call. <clears throat> Roll call, Councillor Rigo. Yes. Yes, Councillor Correggio. Yes. Yes, Councillor Gino. Yes. Yes, Councillor Guanasso. Yes. Yes, Councillor Hass is absent. Councillor Patch. Yes. Yes, Councillor Penta. Yes. Yes, Councillor Powers. Yes. Yes, Councillor Reardon. Yes. Yes, Councillor Zambudo. Yes. Yes, and Council President Novoselsky. Yes. Yes, the exemption has been approved. Now these, um, excuse me, Madam Clerk, the, these communications, a lot of them were already acted upon and they're, they're in appointments. Mm -hmm. So. Nine through 19 that have not been passed. Yes. Right. And we'll waive the reading on those because we've already gone through it. All in favor, all opposed, vote and so ordered. Calendar item number 20, communication from Robert Mahoney requesting the City Council to approve a, a proposed land swap between row contracting and the City of Revere. Council Powers, is that who it is? I'm sorry. Where are we? No, no. no. Oh, I'm sorry, number 20. Uh, that's going into a public hearing, so we'll call for the public hearing, and then when the public hearing comes up, you can say your piece up there, Bob. Okay, thank you. Public hearing. And then I will um, put it in ways and means after that to discuss. Calendar item number 21, communication from the mayor relative to a bond order for various water main repairs in the amount of $2.5 million. Uh, once again, this will be going into a public hearing, a short statement, Mr. Mayor, if you wish. And If you're going to order it to a public hearing, everybody's on board with it. I don't really have much to say other than this is through the MWRA. It's a zero interest loan that we need to take, uh, uh, I believe we need to take uh, advantage of. As you all know, we're still under this consent decree. This is just one source of financing that we can get. Uh, anytime you can get a 0% loan, uh, I think we need to take advantage of that. So I appreciate you ordering it to a public hearing. Thanks. Calendar item number 22, motion presented by Councilor Powers, that the mayor wants the snow melts, have the Suffolk County inmate crew remove any debris and sand that has come onto the roadways on Mills and Rice Avenues as a result of the storms. Further, that the DCR be contacted to clean Revere Beach Boulevard of all sand and debris. Councilor Powers. Thank you, Mr. President. Now, uh, as we all know, uh, the, the several storms we've had all at once and, and within a 30-day period have caused uh, an awful lot of sand and other debris to uh, uh, come up over onto uh, Mills Avenue, Rice Avenue, and Revere Beach Boulevard. And I know that uh, DCR has been down and they've made a, 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 a tremendous start on the boulevard, and I, I thank them for that. Uh, I would like to see the uh, uh, Suffolk County inmates uh, get down to those other areas, and uh, I'm sure within uh, two or three days uh, working diligently down there, uh, th those problems could be corrected and... Uh, it's really, uh, it's, it's not a lot of sand, but there, there's a significant amount to, uh, you know, cause the area to look a little uh, shabby when that sand just lies there. So I, I want to thank the mayor, and I'm sure he'll act on this, and uh, uh, the first chance he gets. Thank, thank you, Mr. President. Anybody else in the motion? All in favor, all opposed? Vote and so ordered. 
Calendar item number 23, motion presented <coughs> by Councillor Buonasso that certificates of commendation be awarded to the Rivera High School cheerleaders for becoming the 2013 Medium Varsity Division National Champions at the Cheer Limited Nationals Tournament in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. That's Council pretty, uh, pretty self-explanatory. It's uh, the last time that such a championship was afforded the uh, Revere High School girls was in 2005. And through uh, Coach Esposito's words, that they really uh, exemplified the word of pushing together and, and working together as a unit. So I will save my comments for the night of the uh, ceremonies. And uh, congratulations, girl. Job well done. And if I may, uh, if I make a, make a friendly... Uh addition to that, that the uh, city DPW installs signs at all the entry points of the city, notifying everybody that this is the home of the national 2013 champions. national champion Absolutely. cheerleaders from Revere High School. That's like we, did that. be, like we did last time. So. I accept that modification. Okay, thank you, sir. On the amendment, all in favor, all opposed, vote and so ordered. Calendar item number 24, motion presented by Councillor Guanasso that the mayor request the traffic commission to amend schedule XIX of Title 10 on-street parking meter zones by removing 549 Broadway and replacing with a 15-minute parking zone. Guanasso. Mr. President, I, I will take the challenge of going for, before traffic again. I don't, I don't have a, a very successful rate uh, in going. If, if anyone was in a wit bad witness to the last event I, I, I took place in this council chamber, where they, they blessed and, and, and ordained a bike path down Revere Street. All, next, they're going to come forward and, and authorize a, a plane path right down the middle so you could take off from the top of high. And, and it's going to be safe because several people from outside Revere told us it's going to be safe. So I look forward to meeting before traffic and, and going at it again. But uh, to say my success rate is good there is, is an understatement. And I, I look forward for the challenge. Any other councillors on the motion? You may want one of the council lodges to put that in. Excuse me? You may want one of the council lodges <laughs> to put that motion. You know, I'm getting some good comments about, you know, saying I was right. There you go. <laughs> on the motion, all in favor, all opposed, vote and so ordered. Calendar item number 25, motion presented by Councillor Novoselsky, that, the certifi that certificates of commendation be awarded to the Commission on Disability for their continuous hard work and dedication in advocating for the rights and interests of disabled residents and their families. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we have had a, a group of people that have been working down on the Commission on Disability for many years for nothing. They do not get paid. They're all volunteers. And uh, I rem if anybody remembers that uh, uh, the uh, silver-haired senator was here several months ago uh, saying that they should be recognized, and I looked at that, and, and I thought it was a legitimate uh, request, and uh, I'm following up on it, and um, I, I think it's the right thing to do at this time and recognize these folks that are volunteering for the city. Councillor Correggio. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. President. Uh, I agree with you 100%. Uh, uh, the silver hair senator was here and made us all aware of it, and uh, they do do a good job. It's, uh, it's not an easy job uh, uh, today in, in that office, and uh, it's well-deserved, and uh, I'll support it. Thank you. On the motion, all in favor, all opposed, vote and so ordered. One late communication. And a late motion. Okay. Late motion presented by Councillor Reardon that the mayor requests that the Chief of Police and Traffic Division increase enforcement of the speed limit on Vane Street and, in particular, that portion of Vane Street that intersects with Yeoman Street near the McKinley School. Speeding vehicles in that area, particularly um, in the morning, have been the subject of numerous resident complaints. Councillor Reardon. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I'll be very, very brief. Um, I wish the drivers uh, would be less brief and take a little more time in that area rather than speeding down the street, but I've been, it's been brought to my attention by some of the uh, people there that uh, people are driving at an inappropriate speed. Uh, it is a 30 mile per hour zone and it, uh, it is, turns into a school zone eventually, which uh, hopefully at some point we'll be able to get some sort of a flashing light, although with the uh, longevity of the McKinley School now not being, uh, apparently not very, being there much longer, I'm not so, so sure that uh, 
we'd be uh, spending money. But if it means the safety of the children, obviously we have to do it. And, uh, but I think a better step would be enforcement, and I'm hoping that the police chief can send uh, maybe a day or two a week down there randomly, especially in the morning when, it's, uh, when it's, uh, it seems to be the biggest problem, people trying to get there quickly, uh, that, the, uh, that we can address the speed issues on that street, uh, that in, that, in fact, in that general area. Thank you, Mr. Uh, President. Councilor Correggio. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I support Councilor Reed, uh, Reardon uh, with that. Uh, if he could uh, add something on, because uh, I got a few calls from somebody from Douglas Street about speeding on Revere Street, especially in the morning hours, uh, if we could add Revere Street on with, with that, if, it was, if he would allow it. The uh, a friendly amendment to I, add Yes, I, I didn't quite hear all the amendment, but I know Councilor Correggio, and I know if he put it forward, then it's a, it's a <laughs> worthy uh, addition. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, on the motion and the amendment, all in favor, all opposed, <coughs> vote and so ordered. Late communication. We have a late communication from the mayor relative uh, to establishing a revolving account for the new community schools program. Uh, I know the mayor uh, had to leave, but uh, I guess this is for the um, kin uh, similar to the kindergarten account, and it's uh, for the new community schools program, and it's part of the after school program, you know, on the Revere School Department. And all they want to do is be able to make a separate account where it's revolving, and they don't they could expend the money right from that account rather than going through uh, through finance and. Uh, Excuse me? There's money coming in from the after school program. So any money that comes in, it goes into their account rather than come up to the To the president. Yes. Is, it, is it funded from the taxpayer, the funding that comes in? Mr. Self -sufficient? Mr. This is self-sufficient. Point of information. Uh, is there a, any uh, cap on the amount of money that can be expended at any one particular time on that account? I believe only if we put it on. I think we did it on one other account uh, in one of the other departments. But I, I think it's a good practice myself. Well, do you want to put this in committee and discuss it a little further and get some further information? Okay. Uh, we'll put this into Ways and Means. Okay. Thank you, Mr. President. Okay. Thank you, gentlemen and ladies. Being no further business, we have a motion to adjourn. All in favor, all opposed, vote and so on. Thank you all very much.